Chuck, recently Toyota invited people to find ways to solve problems in the real world using uh, new Prius technologies. Yeah, and you know what? They're actually really impressive, too. Oh, uh, we should probably say we're Josh and Chuck from HowStuffWorks.com. What we did was set out to see these ideas for good as they were, you know, brought to life. And we got a chance to meet the people behind them. Uh, Chuck, we're about to meet David, who came up with uh, an idea for using the touch tracer technology. David, touch tracer. Get your loading dock, mm -hmm. get your parking garage, right. planetary robotics, mm -hmm. they're all this way. Yeah. Oh, and that's the cluster, Chuck. Man, this place was a beehive of nerddom. Yeah. So what this guy's got is basically it's like molded plastic. It doesn't have any keys, but it shows where your fingers are in relation to keys on the screen. So you never look down. It's always... It just takes up a little space on your on your monitor. People have tried to make really good improvements to the keyboard, but people are comfortable with what is there, and then you're trying to change that. I was told that there's like a place where we're supposed to go get a sandwich in Pittsburgh. Monty Brothers. Manny. And they close? What is it? Promonti Brothers. There's one. Why does everyone say Promanti? Promanti Brothers. Promanti. He's from Pittsburgh. Is there a T? Promanti. Okay, he knows. Promanti. It's technically a T, but you don't pronounce the T. It's Promanti. You should eat it just to be able to say you experienced it. Is it the QWERTY keyboard of sandwiches? What does that even mean? David, clay artist, touch tracer inventor. Renaissance man. Sure. Hi, I'm Chuck. Hey, Chuck, David. Nice to Josh. meet you. Hi, Josh. Good to meet you. Oh. oh. Your, uh, ah, the oh, touch tracer yeah. is ruined. No, it's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we were it's oil based um, clay. We're thumbing your clay. We were admiring Yeah, uh, man, dig in, dig in. Thank you. It's the killer rabbit. Yep. You got finished. Super snowman, super frosty. Yeah. So. That's pretty cool. So, this is the original idea? It is, yeah. Nice. Um, and just like these balls, uh, I wanted to. Um, just custom make a, a keyboard that was the most comfortable ergonomic uh, form that I felt it should be in. Right, right. So the touch tracer technology really made it possible. Um, so you would have a heads up display on your monitor right. to show you where your fingers are on the keyboard at any time. So that's the idea behind touch tracer is in the Toyota, you got a heads up display so you can keep your eyes on the road? Correct. Okay. Yep. So I, I think there's a, a, a big market for it. There's obviously, a, I think, a billion. Uh, PC users in the world today, wow. and over 200 million, they say about 20% suffer from computer um, fatigue, computer fatigue syndrome, right? So, so basically it could eventually just be customizable for your needs. Yeah, that's that's the benefit that Matthew and I were talking about. On demand too, that okay, I'm using as a normal keyboard now, and then I'm switching over to a spreadsheet and then has specialized functions, or right. you know, a Photoshop type application where I'm drawing or you know, using one key commands together. Uh -huh. So you could have different modes for different so any one time. You can use it to toggle between applications then basically. Exactly. Correct. Yeah. Oh well thank you for talking to us. You're welcome, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you, congratulations, you man. Thanks a lot. That's Appreciate really it. awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. It's great to be here, too. What, uh, what's in your future? Um, apparently building keyboards, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start a new company. Well, that was neat. Uh, David's Touch Tracer keyboard um, looks like it's going off just right. I think it's my favorite idea. Yeah, mine, too. <laughs>